and test. Whoa! Oh my god! 1,200 foot-pounds. Oh my god. Oh, we blew something out. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is just... I could probably put so much more boost in this, but I just don't want to. Like, oh my god. Look at this. This is nuts. This car is gonna rock it. Woo! Man, this game is fucking epic. With a top speed of 100... Oh, wow, that's dumb. Oh, no! No! Alright, welcome to Automation Episode 2. The first thing we're going to do is switch to AKI. I don't know what the difference is. We'll find out. But anyway... Excuse me. Sandbox. New platform. Quality. Year up. We are going to go with a monoc frame. Monocoque or whatever. Carbon fiber. Front. I think. Uh, <laughs> I need to learn what those words mean. Double wishbone. Double wishbone. Carbon fiber. Body shell. Let's see. We need lots of engine space. I'm gonna go with this style of car. Don't know what kind of engine space it's gonna give us. Hmm. Can I? That doesn't do nothing. Um. Let's see. Oh my god. So that's only long because it's a four door. What's the longest two door? 110. I think I'll try to stick with this car. Okay, we will go with a. Go with. There are good orange in this game. And burnt orange, I guess. I'm gonna zoom in here. So now we want to. This really doesn't change much, does it? Kind of make the car sleek. Make it a wide body. Very sleek if we can get away with it. Wide body though. Nice and long. What does this do? Whoa, that definitely. That's not a good feature. Alright, already did that. Already did that. Okay. Fixtures. So we can do this pretty quick. I think the best thing to fit on this car will be this. Right there. Eh. No, they don't. No, don't do that. Okay, apparently you can have multiple headlights. Um. Definitely not. Ah, this is going to be harder than I had hoped. Let's try this. Yeah, these might work. Much better. Much, 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 much better. Kinda... Whoa, that's not... Didn't really want to do that. Oops. Eh. Uh. Size... Width... Whoa! Okay. And we want fog lights down below. Just kind of. 
that and that. Just something simple. Okay. Indicators. Well, I'll start with our tail lights. Go with trunk bait. No, let's go on the body. Do that. Do. Eh, no, I like that style. And then indicators. Go with a little. Hmm. Can't put them on the bump. Oh, I can put them on the bumper. Okay, just for extra safety, I guess. Can I do that on the front? Well, I don't know. I guess that would look pretty shitty, wouldn't it? <laughs> nah, screw that. Okay, grills, grills. We need plenty of airflow. What would fit this car, though? Oh, I think this one would actually fit the best. Kind of give us a little bit more volume here. Same for down. You can put a grill down here. That's pretty cool. Put a big ass grill down here. Uh, okay. And then vents. Put some vents in her. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. No vents. Alright, wings. Can we actually get a wing that looks decent this time? No, we can't. Okay, try. Whoops. This style. Definitely not. Let's do a little lip wing then. There we go. Wider. Eh. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little small. Handles. Door handles. Those are always a challenge to look decent. Let's go with the little tiny ones. Right here. Looks fine. I guess indicators we probably should have. Like right there, but it needs to be rotated substantially. There we go. Same for back here. A uh, little bit of rotation. The rotation feature doesn't really. There we go. A bonnet meaning hood in the American English language. Um, uh, I don't know if I even want this actually. Well, I guess we can make it longer, a little bit wider. It's not too bad. Exhaust, we gotta do good exhaust this time. Can we do side pipes? Oh, come on, really? That's so lame. Alright, how low can we make our exhaust? There we go, look at that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Lips. Don't need one of those. Badges. Well, I guess we want to make it all the same car company, so... Well, we'll slap the badge. Well, this part of the car is pretty not used. And then, obviously, a trunk badge. There. Even though it's rotated the wrong direction. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, whoops. Quality 15, 15, 15. Okay. All right. Oh crap, what just happened? 
No, did I just lose all that work? You've got to be fucking kidding me. You stupid fucking game. <sighs> well, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've, like, quickly redone it. Um, obviously it doesn't look near as good as before because I didn't put as much effort into it because, I mean, obviously I'm pissed off now. So you have to go to Tests and Stats, give it a name, and hit Save. So it won't even give you a warning if you're about to delete it, so that's fucking dumb. Whoops. Uh, revise. 2020 quality. Up. Up with the quality. What the hell? Quality up. Quality up. Quality up. Save. Okay. So now, new model. Quality up. And it's going to be a all-wheel drive. We're going to go with a new engine. So we're in a 2020, quality 15. It's going to be a V8 flat plane. What is flat plane? Whatever. V8 magnesium. Well, here I can. I don't know what the difference is. Whatever. V8. Let's see how big. Too big. Yep, just barely. Yep, don't do that. Now obviously we're going to have to make it smaller as we go. We'll fine tune that later. Anyway, billet steel extremely high. Very high, very high. Very high average. I see. Um, I guess we want more torque, really. Well, we'll see. Let's try lightweight first. Okay, we are gonna have dual overhead cam. Well, direct acting push rod, <laughs> old push rod V8. Now I'm making a dual overhead cam. Quality up. Let's do a start with 12 to 1 compression. Aluminum. Let's see. Five valve. Racing cam profile VVT. Turbo. Twin turbo with a ball bearing. What are we doing here now? Water, air. Very confused by that. Intercooler. No intercooler's dumb. Air to air. Air to air. Air to air. What is water air? I've never even heard of that. Okay, race setup. Compressor. You can actually change your compressor size and everything, so that's pretty cool. So, you know, I have a low, low compressor for big spool up, big compressor. Turbine. Let's have like the smallest compressor in turbine. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to. Very confused by this. So, your turbine is that. And the compressor size is how responsive it is. So, if we optimize our compressor size at, let's say, two inches. Whoa, and then our turbine size. Oh no, I mean, we want responsiveness, but we don't want it to just. Well, 
I'll have to look up online what other people use. What's AR? How constricting the lead up to the turbine is. Whoa, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? How constricting. Okay. Three bars. God, that would just blow the engine sky high. Let's do one bar like a Porsche. It's 14 PSI. That's pretty mild boost. Kind of... I just don't... I want it responsive, but... Let's try that. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Fuel system, injection, direct injection, of course. Throttle per cylinder, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Well, twin, twin rails, throttle per cylinder, race intake. Yeah, okay, so this is the U.S. standard, so we want... Super, 93, because you can't really get any higher. Well, I mean, it's a race car, so we're going to run it as lean as we can. Let's just start with 14.7. Advance our timing. Just blow out the RPMs. We're going to have... We can only have short cast headers, I guess, because of the turbo. One. Dual exhaust. Bypass valves. No bypass. We want power limit per pipe 181. That's ridiculous. Let's do three inch pipes. Um, do a bypass. Nah, screw that. Don't really need those, so. Okay, so now we can. Uh, what was this? Hatchback V8 Turbo <laughs> Provision 1. Alright, so now we basically. Let's get it down to where we can actually see some stuff working here. You can see the compressor. Alright, see what happens. Ooh, something just... <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense. It's a turbo. Okay, compression. We don't have much boost, but... Let's try 10 to 1. Testing. Save it. Didn't even really make it anywhere. Let's try it now. Holy crap, that's a lot of horsepower. Holy shit. Damn. Look at that. Well, I just blew it. Bottom end RPMs being too high. Alright, and it's still too big, so let's go all the way back to the bottom end. We're going to have to change the bore down, way down, until it fits. I hope they release a car that can handle a bigger bore. Whoa. The stroke's still maxed out, right? Yeah. Whoops. Just like that. Okay. So... Top end. Compression, cam profile, aspiration, fuel system. So let's knock this down. It's turbo. Let's try 10,000. I think that's too much. So revision 2, start. Whoa, now I can't see anything.
Holy shit. That's crazy. Whoa. I just blew out. Smooth. Responsiveness is bad. Who cares about economy? Octane. Looks like it needs higher octane fuel. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go back to the fuel system. Super unleaded, 95. We need it to run richer. Just a little bit. RPM limit needs to be like 8,000. No, let's do 85. No, 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 no. We need buffer zone. 8,000. Testing. Version 3. Go. Ooh, look at that. It was just running out of fuel. Holy fuck. Oh my god, look at it go. Damn, it just needed fuel. Wow. Wow. That's, that's impressive. Red line at 8,000, okay. It says my red line's too low. Emissions, nobody gives a fuck. Required cooling. Apparently the car doesn't have enough cooling. <laughs> oh well, anyway, let's, um, let's put everything back together and, uh, Save it, because it worked good. Go to test mode, and we'll uh, start it up myself here. Play around with the turbo boost. Ha! Yeah, there's not enough cooling in the turbos. It only did the uh, wastegate sound once. Did I just blow the turbos? Something went wrong. Just try it again. Yeah, the sounds just went out again. Right, let's see if I can just blow it up. Burn, turbos, burn! This game's awesome. Alright, anyway, we're done. Save it. Close that. Hatchback V8 Turbo 3. Choose engine. So now we can actually cut this car back till we can see the engine. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it sideways? Damn it! <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so longitudinal. Um, how do we fix that? Revise the hatchback platform. Gotta go all the way back to the front. Longitudinal. Don't. Okay. Um, body shell, fixtures, all that looks like it stayed the same. So this is revision. Well, I don't really care. Revision 1. Close that. Then... Revise model. Did it not save... the model? Okay, new model. Make it rear-wheel drive. Choose engine. Okay, so it looks like we have way more space now. So we're gonna revise the engine to make up, you know, to use that space. So we're going to start with the bore. How much bigger can this thing get? Holy crap, we have way more space now. 
whoa, 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 whoa. We have way more space now. Okay, it looks like it changed my intercooler on me. Top end, 10 to 1 compression, cam profile, blah, 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 aspiration. Oh, it changed it to water air. I'm assuming water air is more efficient. I'm not I'm not really sure. We'll try water to air. Save everything else the same. Leave the fuel rich, ignition timing, RPM limit. We're gonna bump this up to 9,000, see if we can even make it that far. Exhaust, none, 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 dual, blah blah blah. Uh what is the exhaust? Well, let's do four inch. I think the exhaust might be a little restrictive. Then the bottom end, can we make the bore any bigger? Nope. Okay. Save as revision four. And let's knock it down to this. And test. Whoa! Oh my god! 1,200 foot-pounds. Oh my god. Oh, we blew something out. Loudness, smoothness, cooling. We still don't have enough cooling. Weight, size, service costs. $18,000 service costs per year. That's awesome. Fuel octane's good this time, so we have enough fuel. Looks like the only issue is the RPM limit, which blew at 8800. So we'll switch it back to, to 85. Try it again. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is just... I could probably put so much more boost in this, but I just don't want to. Like, oh my god. Look at this! This is nuts! This car is gonna rock it! Woo! Man, this game is fucking epic. Man, I wish it wasn't Sunday, because I would've been playing this all weekend. Kinda... Alright, save, yes. Okay, we're gonna choose this engine see how it fits in the car oh my god it like barely fits <laughs> that's so great okay rear wheel drive manual double clutch six speed with a top speed of 100 oh wow that's dope oh no no all right so that was bs but anyway sandbox we're gonna load up our hatchback i don't even think it saved the model don't lock up on me again. Rear wheel drive, choose engine, V8 turbo. We're going to revise this just real quick because I forgot to change the style to something a little less crap. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, chrome. Okay. Revision 5. Close that. I'm going to choose this engine. And again, we want to... It's like sticking out of the hood of the car. That's so awesome. I just got basically got away with using way too big of an engine. Okay, anyway, sorry. Manual, double clutch, six speed. We're going to be a little more careful with our top speed. We're going to do 160, because that's technically like the legal limit in the U.S. We will make second gear. Just barely push 50, okay? open diff unfortunately wheels our tire width in the back needs to be like 10 inch do 9 inch in the front so basically like my Mustang that's too much okay wheel diameter I don't okay we need 17's well the Mustang's got 18's let's do 18's whoa 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 okay so the tire 
do the thinnest wall tires we can. I don't know anything about these offsets. It's not even letting me change them, so I'm not going to worry about it. We want slicks, um, brakes, solid disc, four piston, super big disc, solid disc, two piston, because you want balance, super big disc. Aerodynamics, cooling airflow, we want downforce. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, under tray. Can I actually like see what it's doing under here? No. So, whoops, I forgot this quality setting. I don't really know if that does anything right now, but I just want to be careful with it. Okay, aerodynamics, cooling airflow, brake airflow, don't know what, oh wait, that's, that messed up my cooling area. Interesting. I have no clue what any of that does. And <laughs> the engine's still sticking out of the hood, that's great. Interior, no, two seats, super light, no sound insulation, no entertainment. Do power steering and analog traction, all that. Super quality. What is... I don't know what that actually means. Whatever. Nah, I mean, that'll add weight, right? So, none. Suspension. No clue what any of this... <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore all this for now. Ride height all the way down. Testing. Okay. Supervision so 1, save. Test track. Alright, let's hope this doesn't screw up this time. Let's see, let's do live data. Go. I just wish it wasn't in KMH, but whatever. Eight hundred eighty five horsepower. Damn. I wish I could see this car driving. Like hopefully they'll add that. Two hundred KMH, damn. Man, what is the conversion? I think three hundred KMH is three hundred sixty KMH is two hundred something miles an hour. Something like that. I mean, the car's electronic is limited to 160, though, so... Alright, here we go. Let's hope it doesn't blow up like the last one kind of did. Oh my god, it is moving! Look at that! Look at it go! Holy shit! Come on, baby, go, baby! Oh, man, he had to break hard for that. Come on, you can do this. The next video is going to be um, some challenges, so I actually have a challenge, because this is just too awesomely easy. Alright, I'm not going to keep putting you guys through this shit. See you next time. Oh yeah.